Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 30. We're one video away from completing Vlogmas and I feel like my outfit, my hair, pretty much sums up where we're at in life with <laughs> vlogmas i have i think this is like my fourth video i filmed today and i have not even taken the time to change my shirt and if that bothers you well then i guess i'm sorry that the things that bother you are people not changing their shirt between youtube videos um but this is just what we have today today i'm super excited for today's video because it's one of my favorite to film every single year next year i want to get back to filming this style of video quarterly i did not do that this year but today i have my most and least used palettes of all of 2022 for you so a few days ago i posted all of my unused palettes from 2022 so Go check that video out if you missed it, but today I have all the other palettes for you. So if you're interested, I was like about to break down, but let me get through, through this intro first. If you're interested in both my most used as well as my least used palettes of the year, stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or palette themed content, I'd love if you consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, um, I currently have 155 eyeshadow palettes in my collection. Only 20, 23 of those went unused this year, which is approximately 15% of my makeup collection or my eyeshadow palette collection, which sounds like a lot, but compared to years past, that's actually not that bad. This year, I'm going to change up what I do with eyeshadow and I'm not going to even attempt a pan those eyeshadows this year and instead I'm going to do a different series on my channel which is going to hopefully help encourage me to cycle through my palette collection a little bit more and I'm really excited about it um, but just to break it down a little bit further 79 of my 155 eyeshadow palettes were used anywhere from one to five times this year which accounts for approximately 51 percent of my makeup collection i used anywhere from one to five times i count a use as just reaching into the palette for at least one shade sometimes it's a full look sometimes it's just a shade or two 29 palettes i used anywhere from five to nine times so that is 19 percent of my eyeshadow collection 13 palettes I used anywhere from 10 to 19 times, so that is 8% of my palette collection. Three palettes I used anywhere from 20 to 29 times, which is 2% of my eyeshadow palette collection. And then there was one single palette that I used over 30 times, which is 1% of my palette collection. Seven palettes in those 155 palettes are currently um, new, so I haven't started testing them, haven't used them. That accounts for 5% of my eyeshadow palette collection and that is where we sit today i have a huge desk full of palettes in front of me right now because we're gonna kick it off by me quickly running through the 79 eyeshadow palettes that i used anywhere from one to five times i'm not gonna give you the specific use for each palette because i for this section because i feel like that would take way too long but when we get into the 10 uses and over then i will specifically tell you the use for each palette but the 79 eyeshadow palettes i'm going to so quickly run through with you got used anywhere from one to five times again if you want to see all the palettes that didn't get used even a single time check out the video that will be that i will link below in literally no particular order other than palettes that are sitting in front of me let's start with the palettes that got one to five uses so up first we have the Too faced born this way natural nudes palette this was one of my most used palettes of last year and now it is not i have the vive muse palette i have the odin's eye christmas eve i have used this one four times and i'm continuing to test this one it's newer to my collection but i really love this one I have the ColourPop Gettin' Fresh palette. This was a bit of a disappointment, but I do wanna pull this one back out and get more use out of it because there are so many shades in this palette, but that one was a little bit of a letdown. Some Natasha Denona palettes. I have my Midi Love palette. I have the Biba palette, which I definitely want to pull out and use more next year. I have the Retro palette. I have the My Dream palette, which I've used five, which I've used four times, excuse me, and I'm continuing to use and test this out. I have used every single shade in this palette, and I actually am really impressed with that one. And then I also have the 
retro palette the retro glam palette again new to my collection i've used this one four times as well and i have used all shades except for the shade holly right here and i do like this palette as well urban decay stone vibes i am disappointed in this and i want to get more use out of this this winter um even past january because i do really love that palette i also have my sugar pill bite size palette i have the urban decay naked honey i'm a little bit disappointed in this this one i need to make more of an effort to reach for because that's a great palette i have the kkw camo palette not surprised to see this one not getting a ton of use just because i didn't think it was a great palette sigma untamed i also have the lawless the baby one i use this so much when i first got it and i just feel like i don't reach for it that frequently anymore i also have the menagerie pastel pup palette urban decay born to run i feel like i'm on the verge of like needing to just declutter this palette because i barely reached for this one at all this year and in that same vein i have the uh colored rain queen of hearts palette which didn't get a ton of use from me this year and then two from odin's eye i was kind of surprised because i feel like i definitely used this one more than four times this is the odin's eye norns palette i love this palette i think it's beautiful so hoping that gets more use next year same with the alba eyeshadow palette i just need to pull this one out this spring because this is such a beautiful springtime palette i have the natasha denona mini gold palette which i'm not surprised it's not my favorite natasha denona mini palette and then the uh melt cosmetics pretty much every melt cosmetics palette that i own um this one i've used four times and this is newer to my collection i love that this one it's the bad side zodiac earth palette i have the gemini 2 i reached for this to test this at the beginning of the year and haven't really reached for that since i have the melt smoke sessions palette i actually really love that palette and want to play around with that one soon because i love greens so much i have my melt mary jane which i'm seeing my sweet lucy shade looks like it's kind of breaking a little bit um that palette just takes so much effort to use sometimes i just can't be bothered i have the melt gemini palette which i do love i just feel like the melt formula takes a little bit more effort here's the melt rust palette the melt formula just takes a little bit more effort so i don't find myself reaching for the palettes on like an everyday basis they're not also not really everyday color stories for me i have the m cosmetics divine skies palette which didn't get a lot of use this one pains my soul because i love this palette and this is why i love tracking my use on palettes because palettes that are favorites sometimes in my head i'm like i use that palette so often and then i look at my usage and i'm like maybe i really don't use that palette that frequently but the natasha not the natasha the nars summer solstice palette i'm pulling this out so much this year and showing this the love it deserves again this year because it definitely got neglected last year same with this one i have the glam light chocolate martini palette i actually really love this palette i just didn't use it that much this year same with this i was so surprised to see ColourPop limoncello because i feel like i took this traveling with me and i maybe it's because i probably forgot to track some of my use while traveling this year but i have color pop limoncello which is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and my favorite color pop palette and then i have the dom the dominique cosmetics latte palette this palette is so good i just feel like that one gets neglected year after year from nabla i have quite a few of the cutie palettes so i have the metropolitan palette the platinum palette and the nude palette if you're not new to my channel you've also heard me say i did not do my makeup as frequently this year as i have in years past so next year i do anticipate will be different i have the ColourPop cabana club i loved this one last year ColourPop one and done i purchased this year and was not that impressed so we'll see if that stays in my collection through next year ColourPop going coconuts this is such a good neutral palette why don't i reach for this more I have the Star Wars Mandalorian palette, the Child palette, a really beautiful green palette. Need to pull that one out around like March again this year. Then I have the Tinkerbell palette. Not surprised this one didn't get used that much just because this wasn't my favorite formula from ColourPop. The BH Cosmetics Carnival, or not BH Cosmetics, Be Perfect Carnival 3. Not surprised to see this one <laughs> with not that much use. It's a larger palette, which I just don't typically reach for um a couple of newer ones to my new to my collection this year i have the makeup by mario ethereal i've reached for this four times and continue to reach for this one but it was a little bit unimpressive in my opinion saga freya also reached for this i swear more than four times this year because i remember like 
exclusively using this palette one week, but regardless. I also have the Pat McGrath Utopian. I recently pulled this out and used this the other day and I freaking loved the look that I came out with. So I'm gonna continue to keep that pulled. I also have the Kaleidos, the Escape Pod, as well as Club Nebula, which I swear I reached for Club Nebula more than four times this year, but alas, I guess I did not. I have the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Quad. Looks like this. Did I purchase this this year? Maybe I did, and I should have included this in my ranking. Oh, well. Um, the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. Not necessarily my everyday color story, but still really like the quality of that one. Alien Cosmetics Not Normal Palette. Again, not my everyday color story. BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. This palette needs to get more love from me this year because this is a favorite palette in my collection. Like, truly love that palette. BH Cosmetics 90s Dance Remix. I actually think has an amazing formula as well. I actually love this palette or really enjoy this palette, I should say. Love is a strong word. Um, but I'm sad that that one didn't get more use. I have the Artemis palette by Alter Ego, which honestly, if I want to purchase the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, then I should at least use this more to justify that purchase more. REM Go Go Boots reached for this, I think, four times. Not super impressed with this quality. But it's not the quality, it's the color story, really, for me. The quality actually was pretty decent. Both Rowan quads, I was surprised because I swear specifically the 1111 was like all I was reaching for in February. So I'm very surprised that this didn't have more use. And then I also have the Rowan 75 degrees quad. I actually really enjoy these quads. So I need to bust those back out. I have the Pat McGrath, this one. I always forget, is this the number three? Um, didn't reach for that one that much this year. This isn't my favorite of my Pat McGrath mothership palettes. Also from Kaleidos, I have the Lavender, Futurism Lavender Palette. Not surprised this one doesn't have a ton of use just because it's not a color store I'm reaching for that frequently. And then I also have the Astro Pink, which looks like that. I have my uh, Viseart Soleil La Plague Palette. I actually, pla Plague? Well, I don't know. I have this one from Viseart, which I feel like I didn't reach for, but I did reach for this a couple times. This is actually a palette that I really love and I'm excited to reach for again. And I do, I have my eye on a couple of Viseart mini quads right now that I really like, am very interested in. Um, Supreme Bronze from Artist Couture. This should have gotten more use for me, but I really was not wearing makeup much at all in the summer. And that's really a summertime palette for me. And then Supreme Mauves, I only reached for four times. This was newer to my collection this year, but I was not impressed with that palette at all. If you guys can hear a dog barking, I think my like neighbor like went to run errands and their dog will not stop barking. <clears throat> I have the Voyeuristic Vixen Quad from Pat McGrath. I also have Persona Identity 2 as well as Persona Identity 1, which makes me so sad as well because Persona Identity 1 is like one of my favorite palettes. So I definitely should be reaching for this more. Sometimes this is eye-opening too because I feel like sometimes I neglect my favorites because I don't want to use them up, but I'm not going to use up an eyeshadow palette. And then also ABH Norvina. Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. My favorite Natasha Denona palette. I was surprised to see this one got so little use as well. This is the gold palette. And I love this palette. I have the, I have quite a few Huda obsessions. So I have the Huda Neon Orange. I have Nude Medium. Huda Smoky Obsessions, which is a favorite palette of mine. Mine is like destroyed. And I've had to repress uh, one of the shades in there a few times. I have Nude Rich, which I also think is a beautiful palette that I should be reaching for more. And then I have Wild Python. And then the final two in this category, I have Glam Light Cake. Not surprised to see this just because I barely wore color this year. Um, and I just don't play around with color that much. And then I also have the Ice Cream Dream in this same category. So those were the 79 eyeshadow palettes that I have only reached for anywhere from one to four times in my makeup collection. I'm gonna swap my desk out quick and I'm gonna grab the 29 eyeshadow palettes that I have reached for anywhere from five to nine times next. Okay, as I was swapping things out, I realized I missed three palettes that had anywhere from one to four uses. I have my uh, Aether Beauty Amartine Quad. I 
I also have the ColourPop Capricorn in Charge Quad, as well as the Natasha Denona Mini Biba Palette. So those all were in the one to four category. Now moving on to the 29 palettes, 29? Yes, 29 palettes between five and nine uses, starting with Too Faced Pumpkin Spice, then I have the Sigma Corderosa, which I actually was surprised. I thought that I had used this less, even though it is a favorite of mine, especially for the summertime. I love the color story, and I really am impressed with the Sigma quality. The ABH Jackie palette is definitely a palette that I find myself not reaching for because I love this palette so much, and like I can't replace it, and I need to stop doing that um, because I think I only reached for ABH Jackie nine total times. And I love this palette so much. So I need to reach for that more. The ABH Nuevo palette is newer to my collection this year. And I, I know I said I was going to read off uh, how many uses I used on each of these because there's so many. But I also used this nine times and I was super impressed with that palette as well. The ColourPop Taurus Quad is in this category. I do really enjoy this one. I am a Taurus and I like the greens. The Druid palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. I really enjoy this palette. I think it's such a beautiful grungy color story and I really like these special shades as well as the foil shades in that palette. Then I have ColourPop Lush Life, which I was actually surprised was in this category. I thought I used this less this year, um, but I think this is such a fun palette, so happy with that. Then I also have the Cleota, which I broke I literally broke my lid straight off, which is so annoying. Um, but I have the Cleota Cosmetics Dragon Fruit Palette. Next up, I have the Nabla Analog Palette, which I think I did hit a pan in. Yes, I hit a pan in that one this year. I have the Nabla Cosmetics Glitter Glorious Lights Glitter Palette. I have two Natasha Nona Mini 5 pans. I have the Mini Nude, which I think this would have gotten more use had this not been such a destroyed palette. And then I ended up buying a brand new one because I love this one so much. And then I also have the Mini Love palette as well from Natasha Denona. And then I have the larger Lila palette from Natasha Denona that is also falling into this category of palettes. I have the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette, which I really, really enjoyed this year. I had some fun creating looks with that palette as well as the Huda Mercury Retrograde palette and the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. Clearly I really enjoyed the Huda larger palettes and I would love to see these get even more use in my collection next year. Sashimi City from Kaleidos is a favorite palette of mine. I honestly wish this had gotten more use but I love that palette. I have the Huda Beauty Wild Tiger palette which I think is such a fun little mini the NARS Rising Star palette is very new to my collection, but already in this category, I've been testing that one out recently. I also have the NARS Suede palette, which is just this little six pan that came traveling with me quite a bit this year. And then also from NARS, I have the Summer Unreaded palette. So lots of NARS in this category. Also from Kaleidos, I have the Flower Punk palette, which is just such a fun palette. I had a lot of fun with this. This summer, I created a look, uh, like four looks using just this palette, and I had a ton of fun with that. I didn't do a video or anything, because that's just not my jam, but from Nabla, I have a couple more. I have the Read My Mind eyeshadow palette, as well as one of my favorite palettes in my collection, which is the Nabla Side by Side palette. Then I have the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3, which is such a unique, beautiful palette. And then the Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette, uh, very new to my collection, but already been loving this palette just so much. It's so beautiful. Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction. I kind of expected this to be higher. I feel like I reached for this one a lot this year, but hoping to get even more use out of this one next year. And then I also have the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2. Really beautiful rosy tone palette. I love the Patrick Ta formula. <clears throat> and then two more from Pat McGrath to round out this category. I have the Subliminal palette, the six pan, as well as the uh, Mothership Rose Decadence. So this six pan right here. And those are all the palettes that got anywhere from five to nine uses in my collection. I'm gonna swap my desk out again and I'm gonna grab the 13 palettes that got anywhere from 10 to 19 uses. <clears throat> okay, I have to switch my camera battery out, so if I'm in a slightly different place, I apologize for that. Okay, I have 13 palettes that I used anywhere from 10 to 19 times, which accounts for approximately 8% of my palette collection. I feel like based on the amount of 
like I did my like if it got anywhere from 10 to 19 uses like we're starting like this is like good use for me in my opinion so the palettes that got 10 uses for me I have four up first I have the glam one from lawless cosmetics this is what this one looks like and I was kind of surprised to see this in like this high of use but I must have used this quite a bit at the beginning of the year and kind of just forgot that I had used it so much I do really like these little palettes from lawless um and hope to continue to get more use from that in the future from what's up beauty I have the geode palette and I use this quite a bit this summer I was loving the shade citrine on the inner corner but I also really like all of the metallic foil shades within this palette they did send this one to me and I was actually very impressed with that one the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Palette, I actually expected to have more use for me, and I'm hoping that this is one of my most used palettes next year. I think when I'm not trying to do so many projects with eyeshadows and stuff, I think I'll be curious to see what my makeup, like my eyeshadow consumption and usage looks like next year if I kind of like change up the way that I'm consuming my eyeshadow. So I'm very curious to see how my consumption will change because some of these when I was doing Pando's eyeshadows at the beginning of the year I was using the palette a lot so obviously it got more use but it wasn't necessarily a favorite but then I wasn't using my favorites so I'm not doing Pando's eyeshadows next year and I'll be very and by the way I quit Pando's eyeshadows like halfway through this year but then I like wasn't doing my my makeup <clears throat> all that to say I'm gonna be curious um as I like shift some of the things that I'm doing in terms of like panning or makeup cons consumption. I'll be curious to see how my usage change changes with that. <sighs> okay, number the fourth palette that got 10 uses was this one from Clarity Cosmetics. This is the Soma Amazing palette. I really enjoyed this palette this year. I was super impressed with it. I love the special metallic foiled shades. The pastel mattes actually perform really well, but I like this palette more for like the special shades within this palette. I loved the shade don't be shellfish again as an inner corner highlight I was loving a yellow inner corner highlight this year can you tell um this next palette got 11 uses and it is the Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette this is such a beautiful palette Sydney Grace has such a good formula and I hope to continue to see this palette get more love for me in the future Next, they have the Kuda Coral Obsessions palette. This palette got used 12 times. I do have a couple of pans in this palette. Um, I do really love this palette. So I was happy to see that that got 12 uses. Then I have the Alter Ego Canyon palette, which got used 13 times for me. This one also has a pan in it. This isn't my favorite palette in my collection, but this was in my pan, those eyeshadows, which I think is why it got so much use. Next two palettes, both were used 14 times. I have the Natasha Denona Mini Glam palette. I was hoping to have an eyeshadow pan in this palette before the end of the year, but alas, I do not. And then also the Marc Jacobs Electric palette now has two eyeshadow pans in this palette, and I used this palette 14 times this year, and I used this palette quite a bit last year as well. So this one has gotten some good use for me in its lifetime. The Kat Von D uh, Alchemist Holographic palette, I have 17 tracked usage uses with this this has been like my go-to inner corner highlighting palette until i started using yellow all the time from different palettes this year but i only started tracking my use with this just because i haven't always considered it like an eyeshadow palette um like halfway through this year so this has gotten so many more than so much more than 17 uses i have three huge dips in these well i have a pan in this shade i'm so close to pan in both of these shades and then this one had a pan but this shade kind of got destroyed and I had to repress it so this palette has gotten a lot of love for me in its lifetime next up I have the Odin's Eye Hella palette and I used this 18 total times um, I loved this palette and had so much fun with this palette this year such a great palette from Odin's Eye and congrats again to Angie for her collab she has amazing collab palettes she she has just incredible color story um, curations when it comes to her collabs and I've been so impressed. I hope she has more eyeshadow collabs for us in the future. And then the next two both got used 19 times. So I have the Urban Decay Naked Wild West. Um, I do have a pan in here and then this shade came broken. So I did not use up that much of this, um, but I hope to continue to use this palette. It's just a solid palette, not a favorite, but really good just for easy everyday use. And then the Dose of Color is friend. Oh no, I forget that this palette has a shade that's like kind of broken. This is the Friendcation palette. I feel like I've used this palette so much in its lifetime. I'm quite surprised that it hasn't. Um, 
that it doesn't have any pan on it so i'm hoping maybe next year i'll hit pan the mattes are more firmly pressed in this palette but still a favorite palette of my collection and i really enjoy using this one so i was happy to see that i had used that 19 times okay as i was collecting the last of my palettes i realized there's two palettes that i didn't include in my list one of them being abh sultry which i actually used 13 total times so this would mean i reached for 14 of my palettes in my collection, a total of 10 to 19 times. Um, so again, here's the ABH Sultry. Spoiler, I may or may not be using this as a Pan That palette next year. I may be trying my hand at a, at, at a Pan That palette, so this will, if that's the case, have a lot more use next year. <clears throat> um, but I did reach for this 13 total times. And then the Plain Jane Remastered, I have actually reached for 11 total times, so I missed this one as well. So that actually means for 15. 15 of my palettes got used 10 to 19 times, which actually makes me so happy. All right, the next category is 20 to 29 times. I have three palettes in this category. That is a ton of use just in terms of like the size of my makeup collection, etc. So up first, I have the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes, which is an absolute favorite palette in my collection. And I reached for this one 24 times this year. I have reached for this so much, it feels like, because I have been reaching for it a lot lately. I feel like I got to like nine months into the year and I hadn't reached for this and I was like this is so shameful so I've reached for this so much lately 24 total times I'm very happy with but I want to continue my use on this one in the future because I love that one so much then I have Colourpop Pisces in the Sky this quad I reached for this 29 total times and this was something that was going in a pan those eyeshadows I was trying to pan this matte shade and so I'm pretty sure I used this matte shade 29 total times and I don't even think I'm close to pan like there's a dip in there but I don't even think I'm close to pan. I do really enjoy the ColourPop quad formula. I've never been um, unimpressed. I will say like the matte specifically, there are a couple of quads that I decluttered from the Zodiac collection that I wasn't as impressed with like the shimmer formula, but I really enjoy the Pisces one. All right, and then I also have the Sigma Enchanted palette, which also got used 29 times. Um, I do have a pan in this palette, but I had so much fun with this palette this year. I was loving the like lid topper slash metallic formula. Metamorphosis is such a beautiful shade as well as Cosmos, but I also really liked Moonglade. Moonglade, right? Moonglade as well as uh, Budding. So beautiful. This palette is truly incredible and i really well, there's a few more sigma palettes that i want like i want to hop onto the site right now and see if there's is there a sigma sale going on <laughs> all right you guys and then my most used palette of the year this was a palette that was going in my pan those eyeshadows and this palette got used 44 total times for me it is the ColourPop low ray of sunshine palette and i do have a pan on the lid setting shade um, right here. I do really like this palette. It's an all matte palette. It's just a solid palette. Great formula, great color story. Um, mostly reached into this palette for this shade right here, but I was also trying to pan this shade and I just, I do really enjoy this palette and I'm excited to continue to have that in my collection and we'll see what the use looks like next year. But that is it for today's video. Those are my most used and least used palettes throughout my entire makeup collection. I would love to know what palette got the most used from you this year. What palette did not get love from you this year? Is there any like shameful things that you like didn't use that like is a favorite? I feel like I have so many and I'm just so excited to like change up the way that I do that I use my eyeshadow and not put so much pressure to like pan certain random palettes in my collection and truly love what I have. Also bring in more eyeshadow palettes because I truly can't help myself, but excited already to uh, see where we're at for my usage for my palettes at the end of next year. But that is it for today's video. That is it for palette week. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video, for supporting my channel, for supporting palette week. As always, leave any palette themed content you would like to see from me in the future in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.